Joel, I'm so happy to meet you. Like I said, I was a huge fan of the show The Killing. Didn't you love doing that show? Yeah, we had a great time. And, and me and Marae Enos, who played Linda. Right. We, uh, we formed a beautiful friendship. And, you know, I think that was one of the things that really came off on screen. Yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah, the chemistry was really great. And you're, I learned that you're from Sweden. Yes, that's right. How long have you been uh, away from Sweden? Because you have no accent. Yeah, I've, I've been here 10 years now. 10 years? Yeah. How old were you when you started acting? Um, well, I had a childhood experience of acting. I was, uh, I was in a, a, a Swedish TV series. It was like during the, the dark ages of Swedish television. It was uh, also the... Now, is Time that, they, are you acting in this picture here? Yes, so that's uh, evidence of that I that wore a mullet uh -huh. on my head. And, uh, yeah. We, we all had it. We, we, yeah? You yeah. had one, too? Oh, sure, I had, oh. yes. It was mandatory, yeah. And you admit that, too. That, oh, that. I've shown pictures of it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but I, I own it. Yeah. Um, so you don't know this, but uh, it's your first time on the show. You know that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we, we have a, a policy of showing shirtless photos mm. of, of men. Not women, but just men. Yeah. Just men. yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. What's that from? Uh, that's from a film called The Informer. It just had a European release. It's uh. coming out in the US theaters in Well, January. we all can't wait to see that one. Uh. Um, <laughs> there's what's that from? Uh, that's Altered Carbon. It's a, a show on Netflix. OK. Um, so uh, you, you take care of yourself. Yeah. You look yeah. good. Well, the thing is that um, I, I had this uh, condition. Uh, it's called pectus excavatum. So my, uh, it was like I had a, like a caved in chest. Really? Yeah. And it's actually, they, they graded from like a 1 to 10, and I had a 7 and a half, which uh, a normal chest is uh, like the chest wall is here and the, and the heart is here, so there's like you know plenty of space. On me, the, the chest wall was actually pressing against the heart, and uh, so when you your heart starts beating faster, it actually gets labored. And when you get older, it can get serious. But right. then I found out that you could actually do a surgery to correct this uh, in an adult age, because I've been told you can only do it as a child. So, uh, so I went to this doctor, Dr. Barry Lasasso. Shout out to him. Shout out to Barry. And, uh, and he did a great job. And, um, and after that, I, I, they have to like really nag me to put clothes on. Yeah, uh, I don't you blame know, you. I, yeah, I like to wear just gold chains. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't blame you. Well, I mean, you didn't need to get dressed today. There's no need to have clothes oh. on. OK. Well, uh, yeah. They should have told me that beforehand, because right, well, it would have made everything a lot easier. All right. Well, yeah. you, looked, you looked nice, but there was no need to put a shirt on today. <laughs> okay. um, let's talk about mankind. So explain, yes. uh, this, is, uh, this is a totally different role for you. So so I play, um, I play an astronaut, and um, it's, it's a take on like, what needed to happen for the space race to continue. And in reality, the US you know, put a man on the moon, and then the space race kind of ended. And everyone that lived through that time felt that there was promises that didn't really, we thought we were going to reach further, yes. and that never happened. And, and then Ron Moore, the, the creator of this show, um, came up with this idea of, well, what if the U.S. actually lost the moon. And that would, you know, with the American spirit being what it is, that would actually, you know, create something where we push forward. Right. And, um, and so the show starts with the Russians, the Soviets, landing first on the moon, and then this alternate timeline uh, takes place. And, um, yeah, it, it, we're, we're, we're so proud of the show, and uh, we couldn't be more excited. And it's on Apple TV+, Plus, which is putting out some really great projects right now. So congratulations. Yeah. It's Thank called you. For All Mankind. It premieres November 1st on Apple TV+, Plus, and we'll be right back.